Okay, Taurus, welcome to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. And today I'm doing your love message reading. I already shuffled the cards and got a few on the table. So I'm going to clarify. First, let me show you what I received. Well, the Hierophant. I feel like this is saying they're supposed to be just in someone wants unity. It could be you, Taurus. I feel like this is you that wants to come into union with someone. You might be wanting to get married. Someone might want to get married to you. But I feel like you want to have union. You want your union to be work working in your favor, something worthwhile. Something that will bring a sense of value, of meaning, of purpose in your life. Something that will align with your purpose. So I feel like you, you're looking to move into that new experience or new, yeah, that new experience of being married, of sharing your life with someone. You're looking to move in that direction, Tara. So the three of wands. To move in the direction of how can I be... What do I need to do to have this, to, to, you know, to connect this bond or to have this bond with someone? I see the magician card here as well. I feel like before you might have been stung in love. I feel like the magician card here is representing turning your burdens to light. We have the pentacles card. The magician is you also who is looking to really transform certain situations to make it more positive for yourself. It could be an emotion that you're dealing with. You're tapping into all the elements, water, fire, earth, air, and you're transforming some sort of a burden to light Taurus. So maybe you could have been hurt in the past or something tricky or trippy happened that's causing you to transform or transmute this energy into being something that you can release, something that will make you lighter. Maybe it is the burden that was keeping you stuck for a bit, keeping you not moving. But you were always sort of grounded though in your, in your purpose, in your sense of value, in your worth. I feel like no, you've decided that no is the time to really transmute this energy and turn it into something beautiful that I can release. It's going to make you more confident when you release this energy too. You may be more connected to your heart space as it is, or you're more you're expressing yourself clearly, asking for what you want, being confident in releasing that things the things that don't serve you. So this energy that came into you, kind of, it's kind of allowing you to really stand more powerfully in your heart space, in your expression. So before it's like you turned your back on something and looking, your, but maybe you didn't know you're looking forward to something else. It's like you decided to dismiss something from your life. But now I feel like you're choosing to go down a road of commitment. You might, you might be wanting to get married and so you have to release something that was holding you back first so in order so you can move into this place of aligning with your true self. Aligning with your highest nature. There's good fortune in your actions, in the things that you do. You're being rewarded for them. You're, you've been rewarded for letting go of your burdens, Taurus. So that you can welcome true love into you. I feel like you are ready. And that is why the Hierophant is here. To say that you are ready for this union. So you've leveled up from the three of wands really. You can see that this three of wands person is wise. I feel like this person is grounded in earth. In fire. In passion. In heart space. But was really moving from a place of groundedness. So they weren't moving very quickly. Just being steady in emotions, trying to balance out their emotions, rejuvenate, renew their life, trying to replenish their sense of worth and value. That is you, Taurus, or that was you. And so you really transformed and um, there's a lot of magic around you, a lot of well-being. 
you have a higher sense of worth because you went on a journey, you went through an experience so that you can come out with a higher sense of value. And you, when you release that, that's what's causing you to, to sit really pretty. You really move by your heart you now. Instead of being grounded and stuck and maybe afraid to take that step, it's more easier for you to move because you're now grounded in your heart space. If you use your intuition to, to lead you where you need to be. You could be a teacher, Taurus, one that teaches people to align with their emotions, with their intuition. I feel like you strongly teach intuition, messages of high sense of value, sense of purpose, sense of worth. So you're looking to release a burden so that you can, it's like whenever you, when you release that burden, it sends a signal that you're ready to claim now what, what comes as a result of that release. You, you might be a male that I'm talking to, Taurus, looking to really align with your mate, your match, a female. It could be that you're looking to align with another earth sign as you are, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Someone that has high value, high sense of self, pride, groundedness, surrounded by love, self-worth. Self you might be wanting to create worlds or someone that you can dream with and create from your dreams someone that knows magic as well that you can actually speak to and align with well clarify the king of wands please Taurus's energy clarify the king of wands yeah Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And look at the bottom of this deck. Taurus, I love doing your readings. You are powerful. I don't know who you are, but Taurus, you are so flipping amazing. You're so powerful, Taurus. Your energy comes through like swoosh. And you, you are a high value person. So to clarify the king of wands, are more into the energy of you guys what you're wishing to create we have the ten of cups so maybe you are looking to to get married to be hooked to be attached to I feel like you are a earth sign a strong earth sign with some water in your in your chart your birth chart and you might be wanting to align with a water sign because water sign can hold you Taurus So your water sign might also be a very grounded, stable person, but you love the way how emotional this person is, how caring, how nurturing. You might have two children with this person, or you might just want to have children. You want to live, have a home with this person, just have that fullness of love. You really want to be married. I don't know if I should say really want to be married, but you'd like marriage. You want to be married. I think that's what's going on in your love life right now. Maybe you, you really want to be married to this person. You love, you see this person as just so charming, beautiful, elegant, creative, eloquent. You love the way this person smells like flowers. This person opens up your senses to really dream more. There's, there's a sense of, you can create your wishes with this person, your dreams. You can manifest your dreams as if this person understands magic as much as you do, understands the ways of the universe just like you do. This person is an empress, high value. Nature loves this person, beautiful. Like this person is aligned with their water. I mean like their emotions is centered and grounded very intuitive, beautiful. This person could be a teacher or a healer or someone that just teaches people how to have a high sense of value, very grounded and eloquent, full of heart and love and light, just beautiful. This person could really be a water sign or another earth sign that you're looking to manifest. You have a lot of passion when it comes to this, this relationship. 
a lot of fiery passion you could have fire in your chart leo sagittarius aries a fire sign right beautiful so this is the love that you want to manifest the ten of cups family love going out on dates like having children having that whole responsibility a twin flame energy look at this you have the lovers card at the bottom of the deck here you see this so if you are not dealing with your twin flame right now your twin flame is on their way to you or you are going on your way to this person but maybe you're not moving so quick so I, I'm not sure what energy you're in. Maybe you're just inspired to move or you're actually releasing your burdens now so that you can move or you're actually that head of your household already. You're already married to this wonderful love of your life person. It's beautiful. The page of cups is beneath that. And then we have, I thought I saw the judgment card. But I did not. Why did I think I saw the judgment card? So strange. That's really so. Like, may I feel look if a card drop or something? Because I could have sworn I saw the judgment right behind this. Oops. Okay. All right. So let's shuffle, shuffle some more. Let me get a clarification, please, for the Three of Wands. Three of Wands in Taurus is love energy. I got too much cards. Oh, but I'll take them. <laughs> I love it. I'll take them. So shy. I love it, Taurus. I love your energy so much. It's like you have done so much work on yourself. You're so happy and free. You remind me of someone I knew from a long time ago, back in high school. You're at the top of your game. Look at this. We have the Strength card. We have the Justice card. We have the Chariot. And I'm taking all of these. The strength card, I'm going to use this to clarify your magician card. It's all also speaking of a twin flame energy where this person is loyal to you, has ver strong virtues, someone you can trust, someone you can rely on, someone who is also a magician because they know how to really change up emotions. Like this person has tamed this lion and she's beautiful. She's not like she did it by force. It's just by will of her own self. It's strength. So this person can have your back. I feel like you have a a career that you might need to have a strong person behind. I feel like you're a ruler of worlds, Taurus. And you need someone really to really to be there to have your back. This is a chariot card. You could be dealing with a water sign. I feel heavy water sign in your in your reading. Like very feminine, motherly, nurturing, caring. Caressing, loving, full of kisses. Um, someone that you might want to impregnate. <laughs> because you have that strong sense of passion and love. Someone you want to have, you want that person to have your children. So I feel like you're, go you're moving toward this love. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I really feel like you're moving toward this kind of love. And you are bringing your everything. You want to bless this person in love as well. So I feel like the chariot card and the empress card. So this is what you two will look like in love. So beautiful. King and queen, princess and prince have similar mission, similar dreams, a similar outlook on life. Just a balance for one another. And they come with their everything. You're moving in with your all to give to this person. This person is ready to receive you, Taurus. Queen and King, amazing. The Justice card is here. I feel like this is just reinforcing the fact that you need to move or you're moving now to be with this person. Like the universe has blessed this, this matrimony. It is due. 
and that's why you're releasing your burden and it takes strength to release your burden sometimes and you know courage to do so but it's worth it because you know who you're going into because i feel like you have manifested this person you've been working on yourself internally so that you can really manifest this person and that's why it came down to really releasing certain old feelings from the past so that you can welcome the ten of cups energy the chariot the empress the queen of pentacles the king of wands the emperor up here is on the bottom of your deck i feel like you could be a leader you have a platform where you teach so you might be a leader Taurus, I strongly feel like you're a very influential person that leads worlds. You are a guider, you're an encourager, you're a father figure, you're like a king kind of energy that people look up to you for guidance and strength. Um, this is also a hierophant is also representing you on your platform leading. You're giving messages of peace, of hope, of high self value in people, like reinstating people's self worth, helping people to be grounded in that feeling of love, of belonging. I love your energy, Taurus. Truly, do. Truly, truly, truly. So, you definitely will be manifesting this love. Any messages from the cards for Taurus's energy in love, please? Taurus is energy in love. I feel like in the summer, or maybe you want to be married in the summer. When there are butterflies out, everything is blossoming. Your love is protected and guided by the angelic realms, I feel. And I feel like you intuitively know this and that's why you're moving toward it. So you're mastering your emotions. Or you're a master of your craft. Moving toward this love. This person will definitely love you. And give you the family that you want. Any messages of love? Any other messages of love for Taurus? Tell me a little bit more about Taurus's person. Somebody who is grounded in value in their heart. They know their worth. I feel like it could be a Cancerian or another Taurus. A fourth host person here. Cancerian feels possible. Guided in love. Your spirit guides are working with you. There's a celebration. So you guys might really be getting married here. I feel like also what you're transmuting is something of a broken heart from the past. So that is the energy that you're, re that you're releasing so that you can accept something greater coming into you any other messages for cancers for Taurus's person in love like an abundance of love the infinity sign really embodies you guys is love it's like an abundance of love coming through you guys will have a generate generations of love your grandchildren i feel like you guys are leaving generations of love behind. Thank you so much for any other messages of love for Taurus, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Once again, I have her. So I feel like there's a strong sense of really focusing on the and manifesting so i feel like you're protecting what you have you're cherishing your true love you're protecting that you're holding it so that not everyone can really approach you to take this kind of love from you and not return it in favor in kind so you're really focusing on drawing out the best the best kind of love for you as within so without so you are trying you're manifesting your best self so that you can manifest someone that is their best self any other messages for Taurus in love final messages okay once again we have the eight of cups here we had it in the form of the playing cards, Eight of Cups. So following your heart. 
you might be getting a lot of wisdom from those around you other spiritual leaders gurus and so on that use the, the forces of the energy the, the universe to give messages of hope to others of love like there might be a lot of gurus out here who want to preach love and how to love but you're following your own direction your own guidance to leave behind you a trail of love for your kids your grandchildren to really it's really um manifest to match to live off of i lost the word that i was going to say okay Ooh. all right so a very powerful reading taurus thank you so much for coming through i hope that this message came through and um i hope that you found this message helpful on your journey thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you next time until then much love to you bye